Hello everybody and welcome back. It is Michael from Hollowed Thrills back with another video and today we are back with some HHN speculation. That is right, we have some new news to speculate about and some new news to kind of talk about for Halloween Horror Nights 33 this year in 2024. Um, we have our first speculation map, we have a couple more uh, permits that were filed, a bunch of new news regarding possible new locations, um, but before we get into any of that, please make sure that you're subscribed and have the bell notifications turned on to get notified whenever I post a video, and also make sure you're following both Instagram and Twitter, the links are down in the description below. But let's dive in to some of the news regarding this year's event at Universal Orlando. So let's start off with the speculation map. It's what everyone wants. It's what everyone wants me to talk about is the speculation map. So we have speculation map version one from our buddies over at HN Nightmares. You guys kill it every single year and there would not be a speculation season without you. I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest. So they knock it out of the park every year. So let's talk about this map because there are a couple things that have changed. There's a couple things that um, I think I was pretty spot on with my initial uh, speculation, but let's dive in starting off at the very front of the park. Now this logo, all of these are going to be logos. I just, I want to preface that all of these are going to be little logos. There isn't uh, any words on here other than a couple of the unknowns that we got given this year. So, um, so the first is what appears to be Central America slash Latin America because it's both Central America and South America. So it has Mexico, um, Guatemala, all those countries in there as well as the entirety of South America. So not really sure where we can go with this one in particular. Um, we do know that this is probably an original just because it does not have the little film reel that we'll see a little bit later on, on some of the other uh, images. So this one we can pretty much bet is going to be an original in this spot. Um, now I will say, some people may think, okay, uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon was based in South America, so this could be our Universal Monsters location. But Universal Monsters has been considered an IP for the past couple years, so I'm thinking that that's not what this is that uh, I'm kind of leaning towards maybe they bring, them bringing over some sort of... Um, monstros that we had over in Hollywood last year or just some sort of folklore or of, of Latin America of some sort whether that be uh, bringing back La Llorona uh, doing a whole house on El Cibon um, I know we did the Chupacabra the other year so something like that would probably fit well in this spot now let's move ahead to the uh, music plaza area and this one's a bit weird this one I haven't really quite figured out what it is it's a it's a skull with almost vampire esque fangs, and this is going to be some sort of IP based house. And I kind of was toying with a couple ideas whether this be some sort of Universal Monsters house or um, just something along those lines. And remember going back to the previous um, the previous spec that I did. Um, we talked about the code words that we were given. So this location's code word is cookie. Um, and with this idea, I'm not really sure where to go with this. So uh, my only idea that I had was this being our Universal Monsters location, whether that be maybe like Wolfman versus Dracula or something along those lines. Um, but I will, I do have to give a shout out to um, Fear and Beer for this other idea that I did see that they kind of put on their Instagram uh, and that was this possibly being Lost Boys, which cult classic would fill that kind of cult classic idea that we normally have to have at an event. Um, so I think that that could be a possibility, but you might notice that we might not have a Universal Monsters on here. So I feel like this is probably our best bet for our Universal Monsters spot. Now we move on to our next one, which would be the, um, the Fallon Q which would head, head through Fallon and head back to another one of the sound stages. And this is, of course, an old school Cadillac logo. Um, there's been rumors left and right and center about what this could possibly be. And of course, it's going to be some sort of Ghostbusters house. I would be surprised if it's not Ghostbusters. And this one relates to the s'mores clue. So it, some of the people that commented on the last one, you got it probably spot on. I'm going to be honest. I didn't want to believe it, but 
it's more than likely going to be Ghostbusters. And there's rumors right now that this is going to be Ghostbusters 1 and 2 in a compilation house because we did have one in 2019. So maybe they'll bring it back and have uh, a second half of the house being part two. So let's move on to the back left corner um, towards New York. And this is an original and it has a kind of like a weird split black and white skull. Now the, the hint for this one, kind of the keyword for this one was, um, was pudding. Now I'm not entirely sure where pudding is going to fit in with this. Um, now uh, this does look like the skull from the tribute store that we had last year um, for the comic book. So maybe it's something to do with legendary truth or like a, 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 a compilation house for like comic books, uh, like kind of like a slaughter cinema, but for comic book stories, I'd love to just honestly see them take that tribute store and just put it in a house. I would love to see that and kind of let them expand further on some of the ideas from that tribute store last year. Like bring me a Jack the Ripper section, bring me a, a, a collector section, bring me another Boris section, I, something like that. And just kind of it, just putting everything together maybe, I, I don't know. But that's kind of my idea for what could possibly be for that location. Now, right next to that is another original. And this one, the logo they had gave us was a lollipop. And the location for this and kind of the keyword for this one was fudge. And I said that this was gonna be a major sweets house and I'm still sticking with that. I still think that this could be like a major sweets candy factory based house. Now that's 100% what I'm going for right now and I'm sticking to that. That is exactly what I think this is gonna be. And I would be surprised if it's not at this point. Now let's move over to the Fast and Furious location. Now the clue for this one is pie. And I know how last time I said that it was gonna be pizza pie with Freddy Fazbear. Right now we don't really know what this is. It's an unknown IP is what it's listed on the map. Um, and there have been a lot of rumors that FNAF is not coming to the event this year. So I don't know. I still want to believe that Five Nights at Freddy's will be coming this year because we have that partnership with Blumhouse and I feel like they need to come to the event. I mean, it's, it, it makes the most sense, but let's, uh, kind of think about what else it could be if Five Nights at Freddy's isn't coming and immediately my mind goes to, okay, pie, pumpkin pie, where's pumpkin pie? Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, I did reference very slightly in the last video, and I could see Thanksgiving coming to the event this year in this location. Uh, I loved Thanksgiving. I thought John Carver was a great slasher, so I would love to see them come to the event this year in some way, shape, or form, and we have had Eli Roth projects in the past with Crypt TV, so maybe we'll see him come back with Thanksgiving at Horror Nights. Now let's move on to the first kind of weird location. Now, I did say that this location was gonna be the Sprung Tent 2 location last time, but now we have two new locations on the map. We have Sprung Tent 4 and Sprung Tent 3, and their parade buildings are no longer on the map. And that's because there are rumors right now that Universal is working on new parades, a new daytime parade, and those parade buildings will be unavailable since they're working on parade floats for that. So there have been um, there have been permits filed for two brand new sprung tents to be built in the back lot. And there is construction going on in the back lot, as you see here from this picture from uh, Bio Reconstruct of them just building and flattening out that land for these two new uh, sprung tents. Now that's gonna be really crowded back there. It's gonna be interesting to see how they play with uh, the, the space and the lines that they can do back there. But with this particular one, um, we have a, it's an IP and we have a speaker icon with a little circle around it and a slash through it. Now I was trying to think, okay, what are some quiet based um, horror movies? And I was thinking of a whole bunch in my mind. Um, we have, Quiet Place, of course, which has two different films now, and I believe a third one on the way. Um, we have uh, Dead Silence, which has been at Horror Nights in the past, but I would love to see it come back. Um, we have Don't Breathe, which was a, more of a suspenseful thriller-based horror movie, but it still was a horror movie. 
And then we have Silent Hill if we want to continue along the video game route that we did last year with The Last of Us bringing in Silent Hill this year. I know Silent Hill has been in the, at the event in the past and was not that great, but maybe they'll give it another shot. Now let's move on to the other, one of our original Sprung Tents. I believe this is Sprung Tent 2, and this is the Unknown Original. Don't know anything about it. This one was for the uh, cobbler was the was the, the clue for this one. And honestly, I don't really have much of an idea. Maybe they do some sort of um, I know I just said Saul's and Steam last time, but maybe some sort of scary tales. They bring back scary tales this year for this one and maybe do scream punk and make uh, scary tales scream punk into a house. I'm not really I don't really have much of an idea for this one, but who knows, this could be interesting for our unknown original. Let's move on to Sprung Tent 1, and this one was our baklava um, hint, our baklava keyword, and our logo for this one is like some crossed arrows or crossed spears behind what I see to be a minotaur, which to me, immediately Greek mythology, minotaur, labyrinth kind of, Hades, uh, Medusa, like I talked about this last time, I 100% think this is going to be some sort of Greek mythology based house, and seeing the Minotaur there, 100%, I'm on board thinking that that's, that's what this is going to be, um, I would love to just really see just them go all in on like a labyrinth where you're trying to escape the Minotaur, that would be a super interesting concept for a haunted house, and I would, I would love to see how they would pull that off. But now let's move on to our last house location. And this is Sprung Tent 4. And this one is a, another IP and it's a moon with a couple stars around it. And I will not take the credit for this. Uh, I don't remember exactly who it was though that I can give credit to. I'm so sorry if I, I completely forgot. But somebody pointed out on Twitter, on X or whatever you want to call it, that this is the logo that they used it for um, the Dreamwalkers, the uh, for Nightmare on Elm Street. This was the the kind of the 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 logo that they used for the uh, little show that they were showing in the queue when you're waiting in line for it. If that's what that is, you know, I have to rep the boy. If Nightmare on Elm Street finally comes to the event, um, I will be ecstatic. Love the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. Love Wes Craven. Would love to see it come to the event. Um, honestly, I think that they should kind of just start from the beginning and do the original, maybe one and two. Like, just start from scratch. Make Allow us to, to, to build the, the future of having Nightmare on Elm Street at the event. Because we really haven't had Freddy at the event that often in most recent years. I think the last time we had him was at 25 for Freddy versus Jason. And that wasn't really just a standalone Freddy house. So who knows? But I think that this is 100% Freddy based solely on what that person had on said on Twitter. I think this is spot on that this is Nightmare on Elm Street. But now let's talk about the two shows. Two shows that are listed on here. One, of course, has a little flame effect. We'll talk very shortly about this one. Um, this is in the Fear Factor Live stage, or formerly known as the Fear Factor Live stage. It's a little fire. Of course, that's going to be nightmare fuel, some sort of nightmare fuel. I don't know what the theme is going to be this year. Maybe they'll continue the nightmare or with the new Nightmare Queen, what, what the story is going to be. But I can only assume that this is nightmare fuel. But... Like I said, there's two shows, and this one is not on the Lagoon, which is very interesting to me, because I would have assumed that it would have been on the Lagoon, but this looks like it's going to be another stage show over at Animal Actors, which is insane to me that we would have a show at Animal Actors, but I would love to see it. Come on, bring it on. Give me another stage show. Give me some sort of comedy show. And what we can see from this is that it appears to be some sort of castle like rampart, and then you can see that it is going to be some sort of IP related show. Now, there are a couple shows from Universal slash HHN's past that include IPs that immediately popped into my mind, of course, as long as well as everybody else on Twitter's uh, mind when they first saw this. And those two things, starting off with number one, the castle reminded people of Beetlejuice's Graveyard Review. 
this was a a show that was at Universal in the past. It was behind the uh, what was known as the Earthquake location. And this was an awesome comedy kind of singy show. It was really cool. I didn't I never actually saw it, but I've seen videos of it and it was it looked really cool. And the kind of backdrop for the entire show was this big kind of destroyed castle. And I would love to see Beetlejuice come back to the event, especially with the new movie coming out this year, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. So I would love to see Beetlejuice's Graveyard Review come back this year for the event. Gives us sort of a comedy house. Now, the other um, show idea that people are throwing around is the return of the Rocky Horror Tribute Show, because previously at HHN, there had been a very long stretch where they had a show that was a tribute show for Rocky Horror Picture Show. Singing, dancing, love it. I would love to see that. I would love to see how they go with that. And it kind of brings back the, 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 the nostalgia factor for some people. Because like I said, this has been had been at Horror Nights previously and it has not been there for a very long time. But as of right now, we have no other information as far as that show or any scare zones at the event. So that's kind of all we have to go off of right now. Um, now, looking at this map, I, I, without knowing that um, unknown IP, it's looking a bit weak in my opinion. Um, the originals sound awesome, but as far as IP wise, other than um, Nightmare on Elm Street, it's kind of looking a bit weak. So I hope as the months go on and we get some more speculation maps, more rumors coming out, that this kind of expands a little bit more. But I'm, I'm excited for Horror Nights regardless. I'm going to be honest with you. I need Horror Nights. Inject it right into my veins right now. It, it, is, it is March and I still want Horror Nights desperately. Please. Please give us some sort of announcement, tickets, anything, dates, please, anything like that. But that is going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure you drop a like and also comment down below out of this speculation map that you saw here. Um, what are your favorite things on here and what things do you think fit the kind of logos a little bit better? I know I might have missed a couple things. I'd like to hear it down below. But as always, I'm Michael from Hollow Thrills, giving you the all clear, and all clear means you're out of here. See you guys next time.